Hey guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I take care of my curly hair and keep it nice and healthy. This isn't a curly hair routine, okay? That is something completely different that I do have to show you guys an updated version on. Let's say get back to that desperate trim me and Brian needed and that color that I decided to add to my hair. Before we get into how I get rid of all of that product buildup that I have for my protective styles, etc, etc. So, we're off to go get our hair done. We've been needing a trim desperately and I kind of just want something a little new. I like, I want length, but I need my ends cut and I think I want a little bit of color. I'm not sure yet. Casi un año sin contarme el pelo. ¿Cómo está? Sí. Ay, desde la bola, es verdad. Wow. Está acabado. No, no, no. So, it's gonna, really long, yeah. We're gonna do a transformation. Como lo que Pues dale, avanza que estamos tarding. Wow, es que we really let ourselves go. Como que, what, are, what is wrong with us? Nosotros, nosotros no, no, no hemos dado tiempo ni cariño al pelo hace tiempo. Entonces, hoy no vamos a salir a dar cariño. Porque los dos pensamos que iba a quedar calvo. Yo por todo el producto que tiene en la cabeza y tú por la... <laughs> por la virtud de cerrar el pelo. Un par de semanas. Un par de semanas. So, estamos bien al carete. Pero nada, así es la vida. Vamos a... <laughs> Vamos a el pelo hoy. Woo! Finally. So after the salon took some before pictures, the first thing that they did was wet our hair. And honestly, at first, I was a little scared because I normally don't get my hair cut wet because of the shrinkage and all. But because we weren't getting a new shape, we were just getting our ends cut, I let them do their thing and everything worked out in the end. This was just their technique. So that was that. And as you can see, our ends were really bad. Like, they were so open that, like they say here, estaban hablando, like they were talking. Our ends could talk, you know? So, here's some satisfying shots of that snip snip. Also, all the information about the salon that we went to and our both of our stylists will be in the description box. If you're in Puerto Rico and you're interested in going to a curly hair salon, everything will be down below. Brian started like half an hour, an hour after me and he finished before me because I wanted to get some color into my hair. So I didn't want to go super light. So I wanted to sort of ease my way a little bit and bring up some of the brown in my hair. So what they did was lighten up in a balayage form my hair. And then to the parts that were lightened, they went ahead and made a mix according to the picture that I showed them. And it ended up being like a light brown with copper hues to sort of make some of the curls pop. And this was our end result the next day after styling our hair. Super cute, super cute, I know. Now, this is how I've been taking care of my hair since then. Starting with a product buildup that we all know happens when you do protective styling, super disgusting, super gross. So the first thing I start with is the exfoliating treatment by Mizani. I go ahead and apply some of the product onto my scalp and I make sure to really massage it into the parts where I know it needs it. And then I leave this on for about three minutes after massaging it really well and then I wash it off. When it comes to shampooing and conditioning my hair, I've noticed that my hair gets tired of a product if I use it way too consistently. So to switch it up, I've been using either the Suave Professionals shampoo or using my Mazani line, which I'm pretty much running out of. I love it because it literally smells like salon. But I go ahead and apply the shampoo first. Make sure to really scrub into the sections into my hair. And then once I got that, I used the conditioner, which I'm pretty much out of. So I'm using all that's left. And the really cool thing about this conditioner is that it has like a minty feel. So it really feels like it's cleaning my scalp and conditioning my hair. 
And this is an extra step that I actually forgot to do in the video, but the Olaplex is really good after you dye your hair or if your hair is really damaged. And this is what you're supposed to do or put on as the first step. We'll talk about that some other time. Now, like I said, my curly hair routine has changed, which is something I'm gonna show you guys in a separate video because if not, this video is gonna be extra, extra long. But after all of that is done, I go ahead and just style my hair as usual. And I've noticed I dry my hair with like a paper towel if I don't have my microfiber towel. Um, does the trick mine's was in the wash so just saying when it comes to styling i've been ditching the diamond brush because i don't really like when my curls clump all together i sort of want them to be separate so that my hair looks more full and this was the final result i actually filmed this on thanksgiving day so i didn't have time to film showing you guys my hair dry but here are some pictures of the night of and you can see how beautiful and healthy my curls look i was having a really good hair day that day i was really happy about that but that is all i have for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next one